Agriculture Industry Programme. This is where 20 people from the industry are going to come to the uh, wonderful new uh, headquarters of the NFU. Um, they're going to uh, meet some of the office holders. They're going to have some informative speakers here. We're doing some training on social and media, uh, which is all very important for them. Uh, these are about, we're going to have four other days. Some are going to be in London, some are going to be looking around broiler units, looking around some of the big uh, egg laying units as well. So that's uh, it's been sponsored very kindly by ABN. Uh, so it's a really uh, exciting times, and I think we're very pleased uh, to get the sort of younger people involved in the industry uh, who will uh, help us in the future. Yeah, another very important issue to be discussed with Campylobacter. Uh, in April next year, uh, there's going to be a survey done by the FSA uh, going into supermarkets, taking chicken off the shelves uh, and sampling these to see uh, what the, the current state of play is on, on the levels of Campylobacter. We know these have been increasing, uh, and last year there was about 70,000 uh, uh, food complaints uh, on Campbell Baptist, so it's a very, very important issue. Uh, what the NFU and, and everyone is stressing is that all producers make sure that they follow uh, the red tractor code of practice, the very high standards uh, on uh, changing your footwear, making sure you use your foot baths, uh, and especially on contractors coming onto farms. This is felt where there's a, there's a weakness in the system where if they come on and don't follow those, uh, those uh, tractor uh, schemes uh, by changing their clothes, uh, they can actually bring a camper back onto the farms. So we want to make sure that the, that the standards reflected are the usual very high standards that we have in the poultry industry. Feed prices have, have gone up considerably over the last few months. Uh, anything from 30, 40, 50 pounds a ton. You have to remember that uh, five pounds a ton uh, costs the farmer a penny a dozen. Uh, so these are, are significant price increases. Uh, there's a reluctance in, this, in, the, in the supermarket sector to want to put the price up at all. Uh, each month that goes past and the prices don't go up, this is hurting farmers more and more. So we do need some quite significant increases in prices uh, eventually they will have to come because there will be nobody uh, left to produce the products and what we, make to we want to make sure is the NFU can get these prices up as quick as we can to limit the, the damage that done, done to farmers. We still need the money to invest back into our businesses, uh, we've still got you know, pullets to replace, we've got new lots of broilers to be replaced. Uh, so again, it's very important that uh, we have a, a thriving industry uh, making some money to keep to the very high standards we already have.